Hi guys, good Hi. morning. <laughs> Welcome to Adobe Live. Today we're here with Jessica Wanamaharo and Wanamahardo. Wanamiharjo. Wanamiharjo. <laughs> I'm getting it, I'm gonna get it. And I'm your host, Christine Arth. Uh, this week we're focusing on graphic design and packaging and we'll be using Illustrator, Photoshop and our newest program, Dimension. Ooh. So uh, we have four amazing design shows today um, starting right now and then we'll be going through from Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, we'll be starting right now with Jessica and then at 11 we'll have Farm Design hosted by Kathleen Martin. Uh, at 1 p.m. we'll have Chris Bernay hosted by myself. And then at 3 p.m. we'll have Lau Garaudo, uh, hosted again by Kathleen Martin. So definitely join us and you'll get to see every design process that you possibly can within the next four hours. Okay. <laughs> um, so if you don't have Dimension, now would be a good time to go on and download it. <laughs> but let's get into it, Jessica. This <laughs> is going to be it, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty so exciting. why don't we um, talk a little bit about your background and what you're going to do today. Okay, so hi everyone, uh, my name is Jessica. I'm originally from Indonesia and I moved to uh, San Francisco in 2013 just to get my college degree. Nice. I just recently graduated from Academy of Art University and uh, been freelancing in Lander. Uh, yeah, but Amazing. we're going to... So are we going to explain yeah. about what let's we, talk a little bit about what today? we're going to do today. Yeah, because so, you have some mood boards prepped yeah, uh -huh. and um, mainly Jessica's going to take us through quite a bit of prep work that she did. So she's going to do some brand new, but then she's going to share this ideation and mood board process. And mm -hmm. she also has some sketches in Illustrator and bringing that to life today to create a logo. So. So. It's going to be pretty exciting. Yay. So hello out there, everyone, and welcome ah. back. Um, <laughs> yeah, hi, Jose. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Swanphil. Nathan, amazing. Francis, Gretchen. Hello, guys. OK. So um, I was eating dim sum, uh, I think, last week when uh, when someone reached out for me to for Adobe Live. And I was thinking, like, it's an interesting approach if you can create a uh, packaging around dim sum. Uh, we Love feel dim like, sum. Um, in a lot of Chinese dim sum restaurants, if you go there, there's a lot of food, there's a lot of uh, dumplings, mm -hmm. and then you go there with your friends to have fun. It's like a Chinese brunch, and I yeah. think it's just nice to have a, a great packaging for this category, because if you see, uh, I take a look on some of the competitors where you have a lot of frozen food around this kind of uh, food Definitely. section. Uh, it's pretty not interesting. It's kind of boring. It's yeah. kind of boring. <laughs> it's, it's just very straightforward. No offense if anyone created that <laughs> packaging, but we think it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty straightforward and uh, it doesn't look very natural. Where if you go to the dim sum restaurant, you get the fresh handmade dumpling, totally. you get the flavor, you get everything that, that is really good in there. Yeah, so we already talked about dumplings this morning. Yeah. And Jessica <laughs> made me really hungry and Gus and I were already ready for lunch, so. <laughs> okay. Yes, bao is the best food. Bao. In, uh, I name it bao. Uh, in Chinese, uh, dumpling, they call it bao, bao zi, I think. But then uh, I think using the B as something that is more, having B as bao instead of pao, it's more interesting because of the fluffy feeling yeah. around the B. And more recognizable Yeah, more too. recognizable yeah. for a lot of people as well. Because I was thinking that this restaurant is more contemporary, it's not as traditional as a Chinese um, dim sum restaurant. Yeah. And it's also because of the, the high demand of fresh uh, delivery service. I was thinking it's nice if this restaurant have uh, have a to go a takeout box uh, specialized for people that mm -hmm. doesn't want to eat on the restaurant and have but still having the same experience the delightful experience where they can just bring it home and make it uh, themselves. So then you'll be focusing on creating packaging mm -hmm. that will be from a restaurant yeah, uh -huh. that people can then go to the restaurant and take home yeah, uh -huh. directly from the yeah, restaurant. Uh -huh. And I feel it's more person uh, personal. It is more personal. It's like by the yeah. chef. It's more like handmade and natural, it's more local. Yeah. So I think like uh, people will ex like Well, it's almost like takeout pizza, mm -hmm. but way better. So yeah. instead of going to get a box of pizza, <laughs> you're going to go get a box of bao. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, put some keywords that I was thinking just to drive uh, where I want to design the brand. Amazing. It's authentic. It's tasty, it's also homemade, delightful, mm -hmm. and fine. Because uh, dumpling is also like an art where you create yeah. all the dough, you create all the dumplings. It's very beautiful and like mm -hmm. a package. Yeah, so, so it's I like perfectly packaged. Mm -hmm. 
So I was thinking it's it's just nice to have this word finance uh, as the keyword, and then the tar target demographic primarily around uh, 18 to 35 years old. Perfect. I can it. still eat some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then just want to bring dim sum and eat at home because they don't have time to go to this uh, restaurant. Yes. So, um, <laughs> Amazing. As, as I said before, this is all the competitor that I take from. Um, mm -hmm. What shoots your favorite one? I really like the one that says shrimp. Shrimp, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it's like, what's in <laughs> here? <get> it there. <laughs> shrimp is in here. <laughs> I mean, if I was gonna choose one, I'd probably go for that just because it's so big. Yeah, it's so big. You just get it. And yeah, you just I immediately know it. what I'm eating. Yeah, uh -huh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, and then I also laid out some of the information hierarchy. What I want to put on the packaging, mm -hmm. uh, for example, like um, oh, we have some people from Indonesia chiming. Oh, in. hi! Yeah. Salam dari Indonesia. <laughs> Fadlan and Siobhan and let's see. Oh, oh my gosh! Yay, <laughs> Sarah Joy. <laughs> Uh, so this is an information hierarchy that I was planning to uh, do for the packaging. Probably we could we would create the logo and then we're gonna put the product name, uh, and then we could also put the ingredient itself. Like for example, like what Kristen said, the shrimp is bigger than the shumai dumplings. <laughs> then the product that what makes her interested. So probably we can do that as well. And then we have a quantity like how many dumplings that were put on the packaging. And then since it's like a homemade dumpling, mm -hmm. I was thinking it's just nice to have a date created, uh, a stamp, or probably just a tap or a handwritten. Uh, Handwritten that the, the chef can put it on the packaging so people can know uh, that this is really definitely natural. yeah it, those are all really great points mm -hmm. for... and then this is just some optional um, text for mm -hmm. example like just tagline for the brand handcrafted by expert or fresh homemade dumpling Amazing. and we can put also some surfing suggestions and then on day three we're gonna do some after we design the brand for today and then create a uh, the packaging layout, we can mm -hmm. uh, extend it to a different skew. Like it's there's like there's gonna be a pork steam bun, there's gonna be a chicken pot sticker, a shrimp shumai, and as dim sum also has a dessert. And then oh, one yeah. of the interesting one is egg tart. So it's a That's sweet. The best. It's the <laughs> ending part of after you eating a lot of those savory. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds very. I'm already hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast, so looking at this just like makes me wanna eat all the dumplings. Totally. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll have to have yeah. some bao for breakfast. <laughs> Just bring it yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then um, I also uh, created some mood board just uh, just to get the idea of how I want to go forward with all of the brief that I created and some of the keyword. So I created three direction, which uh, pretty like differentiated. Yeah, um, very nicely. So maybe talk us through the process of how you came up with each mood board yeah, and sure. why. Like the the mm -hmm. background. The maybe history. we could zoom in mm -hmm. on the first one. That'd be great for people. So to see. the first one that I have, it called uh, we I call it imperfectly perfect. Nice. It's just because it's not a frozen food. You create it by yourself. You create it like mm -hmm. every dumpling is just different. So it's not perfect, but it's just perfect because you have like a touch right. of a hand uh, on the dumpling itself. So I was thinking just to show like a natural and then showing like an anus. I, I put some uh, keywords mm -hmm. here as well, like a more specific keyword around this uh, mood board. Like it's very honest, it's very raw. Like the chef is just wanna give all the best to the dumplings and it's pretty delicate as well. So I created all this um, this mood board around this finest quality and then just showing that the quality is uh, better than having a lot of ingredients just showing so it's just very natural it's very raw a lot of white space just to bring that it's not uh, not a lot of blurb not a yeah. lot of uh, text going on so it's just showing transparency as well mm -hmm. so i think it's just uh, nice to show and it's also dumpling they usually have like a white color on the outside so yeah. i think just having this natural uh, color would be nice to have oh that's great and then the second one is pretty different with the first one. It's dim sum paradise. Since there's a lot of dim sum, if you go to a dim sum place, there's like a shumai, there's dumpling, there's shaolong pao, there's like a colorful uh, a variety of color as well on the dumpling. So I was thinking just to uh, celebrate all the yeah. flavor, all the juicy um, I ingredients. I love the patterns and uh -huh. the... So I was thinking just having this vibrant color yeah. as one of the color palette and having uh, this vibrant to shout as something delicious. Some more about the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Some more about mm -hmm. the ingredients and we can pull out some of the um, illustration here as some one of the element to be used at the packaging. Mm -hmm. And then I think a hand-drawn typeface is also nice. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect but it has this handcrafted feeling yeah. because we want to go back to the to this keyword uh, you yeah. know. 
and then I put this juicy and satisfying feeling when you eat the dumpling and then have this whimsical feeling where you just after you eat it and you just go somewhere else <laughs> yeah <laughs> amazing <coughs> and then the last one it's about going back to the roots so uh, dumplings uh, Chinese this is Chinese dumpling. Uh, I just thinking probably it's just nice to have it uh, go back to the roots where mm -hmm. it comes from uh, Chinese, mm -hmm. and then having this all the illustration, the all the traditional method on how um, tra uh, Chinese culture create the art. It will be nice to put it on the packaging itself just to have this authenticity, have yeah. this uh, classic and special. And I think it's also nice where uh, usually people. In China, in China, I think they write it from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an interesting way to explore on the layout as well. And then we could also probably explore with uh, some of the material, like using a craft instead mm -hmm. of using um, just a plain box. Uh, would be nice to experience. And then having like this stamp and having like this calligraphy and mm -hmm. ink. That there's yeah. just there's just More something to explore. Style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just something to explore. So yeah, I think. Um, so Kevin has a today, question uh, about the. Movie boards mm -hmm. and he's asking is there a reason why we choose to show <coughs> just a few images on each mood board or are they selected from a bigger selection uh, like, like did you pull them from a larger selection or yeah. and then down select to yeah. just these uh -huh. I think uh, how I narrow down my mood board is just how to get the feeling and how mm -hmm. to get the the mood out of it here I just put the food because I in here I just want to show that I put this in a bigger uh, box is just I want to show that this is like a food that you want to eat this is mm -hmm. very natural this is what you get when you order this dumpling and then just having this hand uh, mm -hmm. having it crafted and then I explore some of the type of face as well just to get the mode on how the type gonna right. uh, gonna come in on the packaging and some of the uh, some of here I see there's a imperfectly perfect where it this is not perfect right but right. it just sounds it, it just looks good there and then the tear it doesn't look uh, it, it's not perfect but having the tear it makes it uh, beautiful and makes it uh, very delicate mm -hmm. that's where that's why I'm choosing this um, this mood board and here this is more it's also like a typography exploration and right. an illustration exploration so uh, I pick a lot of stuff I, I went to Pinterest I went to Behance and see a lot of uh, different kind of a picture that mm -hmm. can uh, depict all the the words that I have here, mm -hmm. and here just I I like uh, these brushes where it doesn't just have like a block of brushes, but it has a yeah. watercolor, has a gradient, which is nice. So I think just exploring the culture and then see how it looks at the packaging and then mm -hmm. have this crafted as well. It's just it's just you pick a lot of mood board when you creating a mood board. I I I just create a a Pinterest board for every mood and then just like. Uh, take all everything, and then once you get the, once you know what you want to do, you just like narrow it down. Yeah, and I think well, I think it's lovely because all three mood boards are very separate and mm -hmm. very different, mm -hmm. but they all feel very concise within themselves. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely feel that you're going to have three very distinct looks yeah, uh -huh. across. So uh -huh. if you were to be presenting this to your client, it would mm -hmm. give them some reasonable choice to make, which yeah. is good. Yeah, I think that when designing, you have to when you do some problems solving you cannot just like solve problem with one um like one one thing one idea one yeah. idea you know <laughs> yeah. what i mean like you have to like tackle it from different directions just to get so you can like see which one is better yeah mm -hmm. definitely i um, think everyone every everything here can uh have like a good uh foundation and idea mm -hmm. but then once we once we go forward we can see which one will be better and which one will be like less yeah. better mm -hmm. for sure cool. this is great Cool. So let's see. Um, are, are is anyone at home also working along uh, from work right now? <laughs> I'm curious how many of you are at work and just uh, maybe not working and watching along so you can see Jessica's process. <laughs> yes, there's definitely going to be people chiming in from work. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, at work. <laughs> yes, yes, lots of people at work. Working, 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 yeah. Get back to work, you guys, no. No, stay and watch. <laughs> yes, 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 oh, see all the response. <laughs> so while we're, while we're seeing you guys at work, uh, don't forget there's also a challenge giveaway. Um, we have a countdown for 14 more minutes, and we will be giving away Ooh. this plush pillow. It's new, Yay. it's soft. 
Ooh, it's in Jessica's guy. hands. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's really soft. It's like a little plushy pillow. It's super cute. Um, so as long as you're in the chat and you say something, that means that you are able to possibly win. Um, so for those of you who are watching along on YouTube right now, it would be great to hop into Bee Hunts and then you can actually have a chance to win the plush. So yes, it's very good. <laughs> when are we going? Um, in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, okay, 15 cool. minutes, I think. Yeah, whoever want a plushy pillow. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, if you want a plush pillow, join now. I like that. Join now. Yeah. Do you want to vote for Joe? Yes, lots of people working too. Mm -hmm. uh, Jody's like, I'm guilty of working. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So should we um, jump in? Jump in. Okay. Yeah. So uh, my idea for today would be just uh, designing the brand identity for every of the mood board direction because I feel like they, they all have a different kind of characteristic. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> here's what I did with uh, some of the exploration that I have. Oh, wow, so great. So I sketched some of the of the logo on how I would like to create it. So this is just um, all around the dumpling looking and then all the abstract. This is if you see it from the top, you can see all the movement and everything, Love juicy it. feeling as well. So I just tried to see how uh, this, uh, sketches can mm -hmm. come out into um, and are these separated at all into like specific for any mood board no, or is I'm it just, just in general and in then general you'll I'm, just like, I'm just like trying to yeah. sketch because when you when you do some sketching you want to be loose you don't want to like um, very specific with what you want you want to like just very diverse and yes. then once you get it all out you start to picking out which one is good and which one is yeah which one's good. working best mm -hmm. exactly and then here I'm working on the, this is the Chinese character for Bao. Oh, nice. So yeah, I'm working it's interesting around Interesting because it's this. like wrapped around mm -hmm. almost like the folding of the mm -hmm. product itself. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to find something where yeah. you can just put on the dumpling. Mm -hmm. And then here I was thinking it could be something of the, of the tongue. Like this is the tongue. Yeah. And then this is the nose and the eye. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. It could be its own little character. But, yeah. Like, how cool it has is that? an emoticon on it. Yeah. And then, Amazing. I don't know why here is this is this is like a ma ma mahjong. mahjong? It's, it's a Chinese game and they have like, Oh, mahjong. Yeah. Mahjong. Yeah. yeah. yeah mahjong. This Love is a mahjong. Chinese game. And then probably we could put this on for the third direction and then just explore some of the ty typography as well. Uh, Amazing. Some sketches. And then if we have like a chopstick or. If you have like a house, like a house of dumpling where you can just experience all the dim sum. And then here it's more just loosely just creating all the dumpling shape around the brush using mm -hmm. the brush, for like Chinese calligraphy. So did you use a brush to mm -hmm. create this? I'm using the brush and then awesome. using the calligraphy ink just to create all the natural movement around this. Yeah, they're uh, beautiful. <laughs> now I'm hungry again. <laughs> And then it just here is just all uh, type exploration. Do you want it to be like all caps or it's just like upper or lower and mm -hmm. see how it goes. And it's also uh, when people say bow in Chinese, they have like a, a, uh, like an a, intonation. A, a dip. An yeah. intonation. So uh, like they have like a one intonation, like you said bow. So uh -huh. we have like this. Uh, Oh, with, a, um, with the, yeah. a bar across the yeah, top yeah. of the <laughs> Something like that. We'll look up what that's called later and get back to you. <laughs> and then here, this is more a lot about the using sans serif as something more simplified, something more um, just straightforward. Yeah. And here is more just exploration on using a different kind of surface. Oh, yeah, yeah. For here. And then I also pull out some another mood, just more color. More inspiration. Yeah, more inspiration. Nice. Like, Probably having red as the color, uh, as the brand color, just to uh, get the idea that this is from like a very natural from China. Yeah. And then some of the ah, some accent of mark. Thanks, accent. Tim Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We so drew much. a blank. I mean, it's it's really good that we have everyone here with us. So. And then yeah, see some of the calligraphy and then probably Beautiful. put the layout on from top to bottom. I really like the stamps. Um, in the red, it's, it's yeah. really interesting. Uh -huh. So, where did you find all of these? Uh, internet. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured, but I just wasn't sure if there was a specific uh, place. No, I'm just <laughs> using Google and then find like Chinese stamps. Nice. Like that. I awesome. think this is more not more. It's not Pinterest uh, image. It's just more like 
to get the the mood from the original mm -hmm. uh, photo or original image. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is great. Oh, so are we gonna start designing? <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. We could talk about this all day. I'm sure that we'd find enough to talk about. Yeah. I'm hungry now, but okay, let's just start design, designing stuff. All right, logo. cool. Hmm, where should Amazing. we start? <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of um, really cool comments just saying that they're really interested and excited about the process. So Aww. this is great <laughs> to see how you've developed some of the logo yeah. work and sketched and even illustrated some mm -hmm. of the bows so far. Okay. Hello, Fritz from Houston. How are you? <laughs> cool. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to start with the first ideation here, which okay, is like perfect. pretty simple and yeah. straightforward, so I think it will be uh, the one that is easily to tackle. Perfect. And probably go more into like all the illustration and hand drawing. So. Hello from Poland. Wow, I love how there's so many different <laughs> areas of the world that we're connecting yeah. with right now. Hello, mm -hmm. Hisham. So Jason has a question. How long did you spend on the preliminary work? Uh, like all the ideation and everything. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you're it's like just like, <laughs> out some time. It's like I, I I've been thinking around it before to go to bed and then yeah. just the ideation. But yeah. looking for the mood board and then just creating all this stuff probably take about. It's just I I take uh I it took me um, probably two to three hours. Yeah. Uh, every other day just to get it narrowed down and then right to make it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think as designers, you often think about what you're going to be designing 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And then when you finally get to doing it, you mainly have a direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Thank you're lucky. You. <laughs> Hello okay. from Armenia and Tampa, Florida, Dallas, Texas. Wow. There's a lot of people around Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> all over. I'm this is great. China. Mark. Mm -hmm. The UK. Ah, the accent mark. Yeah, I'm just gonna create it my own then. <laughs> I think it's um, shift option and then the letter. Shift option. Shift option and then A. Oh, if you do shift no, option. They A. don't have it. I oh, think really? the typeface doesn't okay. have it, so. Yes. Um, Alfon Alphonsus is asking, are you Indonesian? I'm Indonesian. She is. <laughs> from Indonesia. I'm from Indonesia. <laughs> what part of Indonesia? Uh, Jakarta. 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 Nice. Is anyone watching from Jakarta? I know there's someone from Munich, San Antonio, Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> ah, amazing. Mm. Chesapeake, Virginia. Nice. Virginia from Virginia. <coughs> It's like 11 o'clock in Jakarta right now, so probably really? people are sleeping. <laughs> awesome. I bet you that there's people that are watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Antarctica, amazing. I want to go there. Mm -hmm. You want to go everywhere. I do. I want to go everywhere. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a curious soul. <laughs> So this is the one that's going to be more clean yeah, and, more clean, sophisticated. and yeah, yes. sophisticated. Got it. So Amazing. <laughs> Michael Shepard has a good comment. He's like, designers sleeping at 11 p.m.? <laughs> He's like, I highly doubt that. And I'm like, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Unless they were already working all day. <laughs> Amazing. So what is your favorite bow, Jessica? Um, I like Shalom Pao. Oh Do yeah? you know Shalom Pao? It's the one that has like a juicy uh, liquid inside of it. Like, uh, oh. It's just nice. Nice. <laughs> I think I have the picture. I'm sure. <laughs> You're like, I have a picture of it. It's really oh, good. Oh, this one, this one. This oh, is Shalom yeah. Pao. Oh, like soup dumpling. Yeah, soup dumpling. Oh, I love those. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like melting. Yeah. When you eat it, They're so. very good. Mm -hmm. I'm really going to go get dumplings from Dumpling Pao <laughs> this week. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to explore with this one too, where they have like a roof on top of it. Oh, I like that. Just so a little bit not, more of an yeah, accent. So there's like, it's not just like a typeface and then like mm -hmm. an accent mark. So probably. And what typeface are, is that that you've chosen? Uh, this is GT SD. GT SD. SD. Uh -huh. Oh, GT SD. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mr. East. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's just nice to have like all the. It's also nice with the B and an A and an O. They have like all these strong. Yeah, there's some sewing. symmetry to mm -hmm. it, which is really nice. 
Um, don't forget, you guys, we have a giveaway for this pillow in four minutes. Oh my Ooh. goodness. <laughs> and it's very plush and squishy. So while Jessica makes amazing bow, I'll just squish this pillow. It'll be a great duo. <laughs> Yes, Sweet. join in now. As long as you're making uh, some comments, then you are entered to win. Lucky you guys. Ooh, I like that. Very interesting. Yeah. I was trying to like just trying to connect because this is mm -hmm. all geometric and this is more like Yeah, surface, it feels so. more circus like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how should we just try to make it right? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, how can we make this not circus? <laughs> Yes, you all need the pillow so that you can lay down and watch this from your bed. <laughs> so, choosing food, do you enjoy and mostly like to work on food projects? Um, yeah, I think it, it's, it, it is interesting because usually when you have like a food project with a client, they give you like, <laughs> give you free food. Like give you free food. <laughs> I'm totally with you. I've had uh, a few clients for food and I can eat there for life for free. Yeah. I'll never go hungry, but I'll get fat. <laughs> it's so fun to watch other designers process. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Yes, everyone wants to pass out the pillows. They're hungry and they love watching. So it's, it's already a good day and it's not even 10 o'clock. Oh yeah, that's true, it's still nine. And I'm just trying to... <laughs> Kimberly says that she thinks that the giveaway should be a voucher for bow. <laughs> I agree, Kimberly, and I want to win. <laughs> if that's actually true, I'm gonna compete with you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna enter the chat and start to talk a lot. Well, <laughs> just to get the Yeah, giveaway. trust me, I can type really fast, so <laughs> yeah, anything for bow. <laughs> so here I'm just like creating the the rooftop here mm -hmm. the same weight as the as the, the other work mark so it doesn't feel like it's separate, yeah. Separate. And then what is the dot for right now? Oh, it's to, just like to it's line. Like, it's a good trick. It, yeah. I like so that. If you guys want to know how I like Yeah, it, like, I like that. It's um it fun then, to see other designers tricks on how they measure. Shoot. Oh yeah, it almost perfects so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh yes, and if you want to design <coughs> along, there is a challenge today. And the challenge is using a logo template and the round bottle and dimension, you're able to mock up a sustainable water bottle for International Earth Day. Um, so if you go to the challenge tab on behance.net, you'll be able to see uh, instructions on how to download the template, how to upload once you're done, and it'll also give you some information on how to export. So. Definitely make sure, and while you're watching along, <clears throat> click the challenge button, and that will that will give you the ability to download all of these so that you can enjoy the bigger challenge. <laughs> um, and we're also celebrating Earth Day with this challenge, Yay. so I like that. Even though it was Sunday, <clears throat> it's like Mother Ooh. Earth is here. When is it, Earth Day? Earth Day was Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Yeah. Um, I had to double check because I kind of feel like Earth Day should be every day. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't every day Earth Day? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Earth, I like that. Robert's like, happy Earth Day. Earth Day. Yes. Amazing. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely um, download the template and try out Dimension because it's pretty amazing. I think you guys will be uh, quite surprised with all the things that you can do. I never tried Dimension, Dimension before, but I'm uh, exploring some of this stuff there, and it's just nice because in graphic design, uh, sometimes you don't expose with a lot of uh, 3D rendering. Totally, yeah. And then using the Dimension, dimension just help you get the, your Yeah, no, it's great. In mm -hmm. fact, it's so much easier to do that yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have 20 seconds left for the pillow. Oh my oh. goodness. So, pillow hype is on. I mean, if you want this pillow, that just came out of the ether, right? <laughs> right here. <laughs> then it's yours. <laughs> All you have to do is say pillow hype. <laughs> type pillow hype, right, Gus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <clears throat> much it. Or just type and tell us how much you're enjoying Jessica's feed and what she's up to over here. <laughs> 
Exactly. Lots of pillows, lots of Jessica. Lots this of is pillows. amazing. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a donation website. Pillows for Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> pillow high, pillow high. <laughs> yeah, pillow high, pillow high. I know, right? You see it? Yeah, it's insane. Oh my oh, goodness, cool, I'm excited. Guys. I wonder who's gonna win. This is just like, who knows? <laughs> So much pillow hype, I yes. Know. Pillow <laughs> yeah, I know, pillow spam. Yeah, I know, pillow spam. You're spamming for a pillow. <laughs> so much the pillow gang, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> everyone needs a pillow. And everyone needs a pillow given to you by Jessica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially a plush pillow. I oh, I like how you're selecting some of these and then putting them over there yeah, so that you can compare. Nice this is great. <laughs> yeah, it's great to see the process. So, Gus, do we have a pillow winner? Yeah. I'm excited. Ooh. Almost, guys. Drum roll. Pillows. The pillow gang beats people with the softest pillows. I agree, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> 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 Too funny. <laughs> they all really want a pillow. <laughs> if only we had thousands of pillows that we could just send to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Is it only one giveaway, like one pillow? Well, it's just one pillow right now, but there will be more pillows the, throughout the each next. session okay. today, so that's just more chances to win. Okay. Um, it looks like we have a winner, if you want to announce. Ooh. Yeah. It started with a fee. <laughs> <laughs> it started with a fee, and the last name started with a W. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? <laughs> I love the tension you're bringing. <laughs> I'm even like, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's a V and a W. Oh my god. V gosh. and W. Hmm, hmm. Let's just wait, okay? This is so intense. Okay, uh, congrats to Virginia Walker. You get the plush pillow. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Amazing. Congrats. I would never want you to announce anything. I'd be sitting there like, oh my gosh, she's not gonna say it. It's like pulling out the Oscar winner. I mean. Congratulations, Virginia excited. Walker. <laughs> this is your pillow. We're gonna pet mm -hmm. it and keep it safe for you while it's here until it gets to your house. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. Amazing. Yes, she's a lucky lady. Lucky lady. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yes, BFFs. So good. Oh, there's a lot of pillow jelly out there. Pillow like jelly. That. That's really oh, funny. Pillow, <laughs> Abel's pillow. like pillow jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now you're looking at creating the one that you've already drawn. This yeah. is great. So I was thinking like trying just so no, it's not just about all right, the right, top right. Piece. We try to create something. Well, it's like nice to it. see the just process. So. It's like quick iterations. So mm -hmm. I think there's always that um, good idea of like iterative quickly and then move along if mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it's mm -hmm. exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. It's also nice with sketches, uh, you can just do it quickly. Uh -huh. And then once you want to uh, make it perfectly, you can just bring it to the straighter. But all yeah. the idea, all the quick sketches all on the using hand. Yes, and if you're missing any of the videos, you can always look them up later on YouTube, so. Yes, hey Ryan, how are you? Hello, Jet. And Tim. Yeah, Tim Mo Best. He's the best. <laughs> yes. This project is going to go on for the next three days, Ellen. So get excited because we're going to see Bao come to life mm -hmm. in three different ways. Ooh. I know. Maybe even more. I feel like we'll we're see. probably <laughs> going to see more. <laughs> oh, good. Kathleen's here. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? <laughs> awesome. Hello from Spain. Yeah, so someone asked earlier, how long have you been designing in the field? Uh, so I started college at co co college at 2013. Mm -hmm. So that's where I, I'm exposing myself with graphic design. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then you probably were designing before that, even though it was more about study. I think, yeah. was it always in your mind, mm -hmm. even growing up? Mm -hmm. Nice. Like uh, in high school, I, during high school, there's a lot of Sweet 17 and Sweet 16 uh, birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. I sometimes help my friends. Just oh, to, lovely. Uh, so your first yeah. foray in design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, parties. Nice. Parties and then some prom, something like that. Yeah. So, oh, that's very trying cool. Trying to expose myself. <clears throat> with awesome. 
Hello from Mexico. And from Korea. Bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, and the challenge today, let's take a look at the challenge. So the challenge today is for celebration of International Earth Day. We will want you to download this logo template, create a logo, and then put it on a bottle in Dimension. So if you haven't already downloaded Dimension, now is a good time mainly because it takes a little bit of time to render. So mm -hmm. you'll want to save your workout, render, and then be able to upload. Uh, and when you <coughs> export, you want to export a PNG or a JPEG, and then you can upload it to uh, a form, which is in the challenge tab. So yeah, once you do that, you'll have a chance to have your work featured on the stream and even win a Creative Cloud subscription during our live stream. So it's pretty good challenge today. and. Um, Pretty good challenge every day, actually, but <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. So you're looking at different radius yeah. and then possibly keeping it sharper. Mm -hmm. Cool. It looks so much like you're drawing. I love it. <laughs> <clears throat> Yay, Kathleen Illustrated. Morning, everyone. Morning, Kathleen. <laughs> Uh, the due date for this project. What is the due date for this project? Hmm. Good question. Gus, what's the due date for the project? The challenge. The challenge. Uh, Fifty-three minutes. That's the due date. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the timer. <clears throat> challenge submission deadline: fifty-two minutes now and counting. So, in in. In order as you please, I would say download Dimension, download the logo template, and then start to create, export, and then upload. Hello from the Ukraine. I love seeing when people are here from everywhere. It's mm -hmm. exciting. What time is it around there, like on the Europe? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Nazar, what time is it in the Ukraine? Ah, uh, yes, PF Paul is enjoying the regularity of the logo. It's always, it says natural, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's very natural. Ah, hello from Morocco. That sounds nice and like a vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 5.37 in Portugal and in London. Oh, okay. PM. PM. Yes, <laughs> PM. Yes, so they're just getting off work if they're lucky. <laughs> I want to go to London. <laughs> Someone send Jessica a ticket to London. <laughs> she wants to go. <laughs> oh, it's 7.38 PM in Ukraine. Thanks, Nazar. We were very curious. <clears throat> so in the last like uh, maybe six months, what's mm -hmm. been some of your favorite projects to work on, hmm. or at least one favorite project? One favorite project? Huh. Tough <laughs> question, right? <laughs> yeah. Think about it and get back to us. We'll be over here. <laughs> <Love ya. laughs> I think um, I just finished my school. Um, in December, right? And mm -hmm. then I've been working on my portfolio. So uh, just collecting all the projects that I've been working from the first semester right. until like first year until the last year is something that made me proud and interested of. So it's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you guys haven't um, already looked at Jessica's portfolio, you can do that in info. So if you're watching the Adobe live stream right now, you can click on the info tab and you can follow Jessica's portfolio and see all the work that she's created, which is quite a beautiful bunch of Thank delicious you. graphics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the packaging for Phil's is super fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 not Phil's packaging, it's a school project. Right, so I try but to, it's great. Mm -hmm, totally I mean, I think that that's definitely, um, it's definitely well known, and mm -hmm. then you have also mm -hmm. noted that it's a school project, but I think it's a really great job. 
Oh yeah, Paul did do an introduction to Dimension yesterday. If you guys want to see how to use that, um, I would hop on YouTube and take a peek. But otherwise, we will also be looking at Dimension on day two and day three throughout um, all of the streams that we're doing. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. Kind of looks like a bow on a table, <laughs> you know? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the most interesting part about design is that it's only yeah, I, in like, uh, you know, not making mistakes, but it's in like in exploration mm -hmm. that you find some of the best things. Yeah. Never see this coming. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I didn't draw this one. I'm like, I know, but I love it. <laughs> the idea of it's super cool. Yeah. Hello, Steven. Hello, Rodrigo. Nice. And Amanda. Yes, happy accidents. I agree. I think that's what design is. <clears throat> Sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> happy accidents, but with a lot of pre-research. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Paul says that it makes him think of a cradle, like a baby bow. <laughs> <laughs> baby bow. Yeah. Bow for babies. I like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, happy little accidents. Very cute. Mmm. Still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah, it looks like we have one... One... Enter one entrance right now into the one entrant into the challenge. So definitely take a look at that challenge. We're gonna look at those in 45 minutes. Um, we definitely want to celebrate Earth Day. So get those logos on some bottles so that we can take a peek and highlight your skills. And hopefully you have the chance to win a subscription to Creative Cloud. Ooh, I like that bow. It's kind of like ghost bow. Ghost bow. Yeah, <laughs> ghost bow. It's awesome. <laughs> Hello, Carolina. <clears throat> cool. I think I like the Shaolin bow. The, the, the best, too. The best, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. <clears throat> yeah, it's just... I, I just like it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's soupy. It's kind of like comfort food. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to see all the rendered logos too. Tim is very excited. So am I. So is Jimmy from North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let's just start designing some of the dumplings. Ooh, on to dumplings. Now That's I'm going to get hungry. Well. Amazing. So how long did you spend uh, drawing some of these? It's like um, every day, I just like keep keep adding drawing one, one, adding yeah. one. Yeah. So it's just like um, I like how there's so many different styles of bow. <laughs> you know. Ah <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yes. If you're just tuning in now, like Stephen. Uh, Jessica here is designing a logo for Bao, and it would be for Bao packaging. Uh, eventually, we'll be taking the logos and applying them to packaging, and we'll be showing that in Dimension. Um, right now, the whole idea is that it's kind of like pizza takeout. Uh, when you go in to order a pizza, you get a box of pizza to take out and take away, and it's delicious. But right now, they don't have that for Bao. And this is one of the things that Jessica wants mm. to create is a way to take Bao away from a restaurant that's very beautiful, delicious, and exciting. So pretty cool. And Jessica earlier walked through the process of her mood boards. Um, there's three different styles of mood boards. We have one that's very elegant and sophisticated and artful. There's one that's more illustrative and juicy and playful. 
And then there's a third one that is more traditional and elegant. Um, so there's some very, really interesting directions that we're gonna see, and all of them feel like the right thing for Bao. It's mm -hmm. just which one are we gonna choose? <laughs> Probably all three, because we're hungry. <laughs> You're like very, <laughs> very hungry, <clears throat> yes. My stomach just say something. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. That's amazing. You're like, whoops. <laughs> yeah, super. So how many of you that are following along have used Dimension before? And what is your favorite part about it? Matthias has used it, awesome. Hi, Ryan. And if you haven't used it yet, now is the time to download it. Ooh, Kathleen's using it right now, amazing. Uh, yeah, Jimmy loves that it matches to the background automatically. I love that too, in fact. I think it's pretty cool to see it is apply it? itself into a setting mm -hmm. that's super natural. <clears throat> is it pretty, it's pretty new, right? The, the yeah, it's it's very new. It's, um, it's a great tool for, I think, for graphic designers that want <clears throat> to parlay their designs into a three-dimensional setting. So it's mainly, uh, it's extremely intuitive and what it mainly does is it takes your graphics and you can apply them to any sort of three-dimensional packaging, kind of like a smart object, mm -hmm. but the difference is instead of just putting a smart object on it in place, what it does is it puts it in a context and scenario. Oh, Nick actually has a question. So what tool are you using to smooth out the lines? Oh, um, <clears throat> smoothing this line, do you mean? Mm -hmm. or so there's like one, a smooth tool. Smooth tool. Where you can just like, um, so you pick one of the outline and then you click this one and they help you to like making it like. Oh nice, healthier. a little bit more yeah. smooth. Uh -huh. Hence then, the name smooth tool. Yeah, I like that. Adobe tool. makes everything make so much sense. Yeah, and then just <laughs> half the round corner here. Yeah. <clears throat> on the stroke to make nice. it more. More bowlicious. Mm -hmm. oh, more delicious. Yeah, bowlicious. <laughs> bowlicious. I like yeah. <laughs> It's bowlicious. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Cloud. I think that's a great idea, Ryan. Cloud rendering becoming a reality. I agree. Yeah. Abisoya uh, will start using the smooth tool immediately. Um, yeah, it helps me a lot to get more of the natural like yeah. looking instead of very... I find that I end up using it a lot too, <laughs> especially when I'm hand drawing things yeah. just because it's a little bit uh, jagged in some mm -hmm. respects and then I need to clean it up. I should make like a shortcut just for that one. Uh, yes, and Andrea's yeah. asking, is this for um, uh, an actual company, or is this for a no, it's just fictitious, a fictitious, fictitious yeah. company? It's the company that we all want to eat bow from now. <laughs> <laughs> mm, just... Yeah, everyone should be ordering dim sum right now. I agree. <laughs> I'm starving now. <laughs> there's one. I really here. hope there's dim sum for lunch. Yeah, there's, you're like there's one right here. I'm like, you know, I can't eat that. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And it's in the morning, so my stomach is kind of empty. Uh, yes, so the software, Brigitte, uh, the software we were just talking about is Dimension. So you can download that. And uh, that's also what we're gonna be using for today's challenge. Um, if you go to the challenge tab uh, next to the live feed, you can see that it's for designing a logo for Earth Day and then putting that logo on a bottle in Dimension. 
and all of the instructions as well as the downloads for the templates are in the challenge tab. Uh, Dimension's actually extremely easy to use. It takes a little bit of practice to get it uh, into context where you feel good about it. But I think that's the beauty of it, where um, it's easy to use, it's hard to master. So I think lighting is the part that it's interesting to master. Um, yes, it's not dementia, Derek, it's dimension. <laughs> Very funny though. Mm -hmm. I like this while we're chatting over here, Jessica's working away and making <laughs> the most delicious looking bow. <laughs> Love it. I love that you're creating all of your favorite logos that you've already illustrated by hand mm -hmm. in Vector. Yeah, Michael, that's a great question. Um, he asked, would we spend hours scanning bottles and adapt customers' labels for proofs and also figure out the dimension of labels? Can Dimension do that easier? Yes, Dimension could do that easier. I think what uh, you would do is you would take a JPEG or PNG of the label and then adapt it to a pre-chosen uh, pre bottle in Dimension. The only difference is that it would have to be a bottle that you already are using. So if it's a can, then yes. Um, otherwise, you would want to download a bottle that matches what you're looking for and then upload it into Dimension. So it's a lot like Keyshot if you're familiar with that, but I think Dimension is easier and a little bit more intuitive, especially for graphic designers, because we don't have to learn that terribly long process. <laughs> Oh, Maria's asking a question. Do you ever use an art tablet for drawing and design an illustrator or do you only use a mouse? Um, <clears throat> right now I'm using mouse, but I feel like I want to learn how to use a tablet because I think it's just nice to yeah, have like a hand similar drawn. hand drawn. Like, yeah. like, it's just naturally, um, like it's just naturally. Yeah, easy. it's natural. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. But then, yeah, I never really use a tablet before, but I'm interested to learn about it. Yeah, I feel the same way. I uh... Did you use mouse? Or? Yeah, I use mouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because that's what I learned with and it comes yeah, natural mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> At first, I'm using a trackpad. Yeah. And I start to learn that mouse is better than trackpad. And then yeah. I think once I use the... But, but at first, once you just like jumping from trackpad to mouse, it's yeah, just hard. Totally. But once you get settled with the mouse, you'll like the mouse better. But I think this going to be happen with the tablet as well. Yeah, yeah. It's inconvenience, but once you settle with it, you just going to go with that. Totally. So which one are you creating now? Is this the spinning bow? Yeah. Nice. It's like you see it from the top. Oh, yeah. Then. It could be a really cool pattern. Yeah, I think it's also have this feeling of juiciness. Yeah. And just like yeah, that's for the soup flow. bow, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the soup bow. Yeah. Amazing. So who's eating bow right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I wish I was. <laughs> Great. So we have about 35 more minutes for the challenge submissions. Um, if you haven't submitted, uh, I, I would recommend doing so. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of a um, a quick one, but I think that, you know, doing a Earth, <coughs> Mother Earth logo for Earth Day is very important. Oh yeah, Melanie says that you're a shortcut master. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I think shortcut just makes you, it's easier for you to learn shortcut. Yeah, just to make totally. It faster and then Do you have a favorite shortcut? Um, or one that you use the most? 
I'm using this one, like just dragging, dragging. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Zoom, so it's always totally. My, my point finger is always on the tap. Is, is, what is this? The space bar. The space bar. And yeah. then my. Um, oh, to drag around. Yeah, and, and move. then the yeah. other one just using the the zoom tool, so you can just like. Yeah. What's your favorite? Um, <laughs> Command Z. Command Z. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> It makes it makes all the mistakes go away. <laughs> no, I would say that um, yeah, probably the space bar I use the space most often yeah. too, just to drag things around. <laughs> too funny. Oops. Yeah, what is everybody's uh, favorite shortcut <laughs> that's following along? <laughs> I like Command D too. Command D. Command D. So oh, Command D. When you copy it, you just like da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> yeah, I wish there was a command Z in life too, Caroline. <laughs> I think that uh, most people <laughs> wish that. <laughs> ah, command S, yes, save. Command S, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a smart one. That's just command smart. Command smart. <laughs> Space bar. Ooh, yeah. Click and alt. Wow, there's a lot of commands out there. Amazing. I think everyone's gonna have to be trying what these are uh -huh. just so that they know. <laughs> it's just nice when you work with different kind of people, they have different kind of uh, technique on how they yeah. do their work. So sometimes you learn something new and probably it will be like, you just learn yeah, what it's it, better it to becomes use an asset that you can technique. then, yeah, yeah uh -huh. totally. I'm still creating the like the swirly thing, but with a different shape. Control C. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matthias, winning plus L is my favorite one at work. What? Win plus L. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, spacebar is the best. I think you're, it's unanimous, man. Spacebar is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> spacebar is awesome. Yeah. That would be great for life, too, because then you could move around <laughs> a lot faster. <laughs> Ooh, looking cool. Nice. Hmm. Very cool. I can already imagine these turning into something fun for the juicy version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super. And probably we can have some. Hmm. Uh. Yes, don't forget to get your submissions in. Create those Earth Day logos and put them on some bottles so that we can award you a subscription to Creative Cloud. It's a pretty great offer. So it's a good challenge. Oh, nice, giving some natural texture. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yes, um, do you have an Instagram? Yeah, I have an Instagram. Oh, someone pulled up the Instagram. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tim. That's awesome. Tim, Tim for the win. <laughs> High five, Tim. <laughs> Awesome. I can try to take some of the work here. <clears throat> I love seeing the process. And you can just like put it on the side and then see which one. <laughs> yeah, see which one it looks best with. I think it's great because it's, um, you know, like workshopping it a little bit. You're mm -hmm. like, does it look good with this type? Because some of the uh, fonts are a little bit thin and some mm -hmm. are too playful. Mm -hmm. uh, some might be mm -hmm. I think more. too wild or too structured. Cool. What do you guys think out there? Like mm, that's one. nice. Yeah, the curvature of the mm -hmm. A kind of matches. James likes your Instagram. Very minimal. Very yep. <laughs> it's very good. Yes. 
Uh, the deadline for the Earth Day logo challenge is 30 minutes from now. So I say, get on it. <laughs> Ooh, looking good. Should we try to use the all? Uh, hmm. mm, that's interesting. Just to have like a different kind of person. Yeah, there's uh, some nice tension there because of the uppercase has mm -hmm. a bit more command to it. I don't like this one though. Yeah. That's a little intense. Yeah, we can just <laughs> remove it. Yes, the rendering does take time, Derek. I was not kidding. I never joke. Just kidding. <laughs> I joke all the time. <laughs> um, but yes, the rendering does take time. So if you if you can, I would quickly make your logo and then render right away. <laughs> um, Ryan is asking what font that was. Hmm. <laughs> You're like, <"Shoot." laughs> You're like, good question. Galahad. 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 It's it's like the Knights of Sir Galahad. Any Mon Monty Python fans out there? <laughs> I still like the softness of the lowercase, so I don't know. Um, good question, Ben. Does the challenge roll over to the next stream? Yes, it does. If you didn't make it in the challenge for this stream, then you can try again for the next one. But it has to be something that hasn't been submitted before. Uh, Eric has an idea. He says he wonders if that symbol could serve as the O. Yeah, that was what I was trying to do. <clears throat> Good ideas. Good idea, yeah. Uh, it's tough though. It's I think tough, it, it yeah. doesn't really read bow. It um, reads ba, 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 yeah, ba, ba, yeah, ba flower. It's true. Yeah, but it's something interesting. But to it play. is something uh -huh. to yeah. Nice. Good morning, William Workman. Hmm. So who here is working on the challenge right now while Jessica's working on Bao? Oh, Katie likes the O and the flower together. It looks like, looks like a dumpling. Looks like a dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put it here so we have like an option to choose. Oh, nice. Esther's working on it. Michael's working on it. Devin. Nice. Ellen is trying. Good job, Ellen. <laughs> Nathan can't answer because he's working on the challenge. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, James, there is a live stream schedule. Uh, let's see. The schedule is, there's a tab above the live stream right now. <laughs> And you can see that there's a schedule for today as well as the next two days. Tim for the win. Nice, Falter, awesome. Everybody's working on the challenge. I like this. Oh, nice. Tanya's multitasking client work and watching. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, it's looking nice. Yeah, William likes the bow with the asterisk. It, it's pretty cool because it kind of does look like an asterisk with it. It reminds me of Yelp, though. <laughs> ah, yeah, good call. Always good to remember what else is going on in challenge and client work. Good call, Tina. Tanya. 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 Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it's a lot more simple. I, I quite like that. 
Yeah, Cigar has a great comment. It's minimal and calm feeling. Yuri, you are one of those viewers. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Hi, Victor. Hi, Roy. Hi, James. If you're just joining us, we're here with Jessica and she is designing logos for Bao, a company that she is creating all on her own today. And she's <laughs> going to be serving us Bao by Thursday afternoon Thursday. in the form of logos and packaging. <laughs> Cute. It's really fun. Hmm. Oh, Tim has an interesting suggestion. He mm -hmm. says, what if we put the flower shape inside an O mm -hmm. and then used it as a symbol? Like separate from the bow. Oh, so. Yeah, so it's bow, but then it's just a symbol. Like maybe reversed it and yeah, exactly. Oh, this looks like so it looks like bow. Yeah. yeah, way to go, yeah, Tim. I, uh, <laughs> I think I just need to like um, make it thinner instead of very yeah, or <laughs> mask it. Mm -hmm. I think someone said that earlier. They were like, oh, just mask it. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. Yes, Tima. Same challenge all day. James is like, oh yeah, it looks like a dumpling. <laughs> nice. It's dumpling time. <laughs> yeah, I think this looks more like a dumpling. Yeah, this even though Kevin like says it looks like candy, we'll just make sure that we put <laughs> bow next to it so that we know that it's a dumpling and not a uh, mint. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, we have about 22 minutes left for the challenge to design <clears throat> a logo for Earth Day and put it on a water bottle in Dimension and upload it. Ah, yes, Katie also mentioned that that would be awesome to put it in there. So Katie and Tim and James, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> yeah, probably looks less like candy without the mm -hmm. spot. Yes, the renderings do take a bit of time. So if you end up rendering and miss this challenge, the challenge will be going on for the next three sessions. So as long as you haven't submitted your work more than once, then you're able to submit later today. Yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of great comments. They're liking the way that the Oh, looks and uh, lots of suggestions on like maybe twisting it or making it black and reversed mm -hmm. or yeah. Yeah. I think that there's lots to there's lots to explore. Mm -hmm. This is great. You work very quickly, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> you do very quickly. <laughs> Haas is really digging it, so this is awesome. <laughs> uh, Charlie Dickinson. Uh, how many critters did I eat to get the critter bitters job? I ate a lot of crickets. <laughs> yes, I still eat them. They're delicious. It's a good source of protein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Tim's saying try some color, or is this just yeah, black and white for starters? I think probably just black and white I for think starters. Black and white, and then once yeah. you finish the black and white, you can put like a grayscale, so it's just like a failure. And then after you put the failure, you can just try to use color. Like yeah, that. I think that's a great way to look at things because if it works in black and white, mm -hmm. then it'll work in color. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's always a great way to evaluate your work. Oh, Jonathan says, watching this is definitely making my day better. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Oh, and then Abisoy 
uh, has an interesting comment. He says, if you move it to the end of the O, like the behind bow, because mm-hmm. he thinks right now it looks like O bow. O bow, because of it. Yeah, <clears throat> like O bow. But maybe if it's at the other side, it'll look more like bow. Thank you, live stream. I love when they participate and help. <laughs> I kind of want them to always be there. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, hey, Paul. How's it going? <laughs> I heard your hair looked really good today. <laughs> you know, just through the live stream chatter, talking about Paul's hair, no big deal. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know it was on point. Uh, Sarah Abraham is saying, this is so cool. It's her first time watching and it's inspiring for her to do some of her own projects. Nice. It's always good to know that you're an inspiration <laughs> to others, huh, Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have a high five for that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <clears throat> wow, yeah, so something like this. I think if you want to have it as an O, you have to like have Separate it, um, yeah. Yeah, maybe try separating it. I like to see the, um, your thought process. It's nice. Yeah, like Tim... Tim mentioned earlier, he's like, it's kind of hellish for a designer to have design by committee. Uh-huh. So it's always nice to see uh, designers chiming in with ideas. But again, you're your own boss, yeah. so we don't have to listen, <laughs> but we want to. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paul. I wore this scarf for you. <laughs> now nah, I wear it every day anyway. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, Ahmad says that's nice, and they say it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I really like that illustration. That's cool. So someone earlier said, um, what about, have you tried uh, doing live trace on any of your illustrations? Oh, yeah, but sometimes using a live trace, it's just um, all the path. It's yeah, the paths are too it's, much. It's just weird. So I think have creating by your own would be faster. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> uh, William Workman says, designing with other designers is still so much nicer than clients. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I think every designer should be. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, and Paul has a great uh, question. What is bow? <laughs> what is bow? What is bow? I think Paul's just joined, yes. Uh, it's. Do you mean like the restaurant? No, just like the food. What is bao? It's a dumpling. It's a dumpling. It's a dumpling. Like in Chinese, they call it bao zhi. Bao zhi. Bao zhi. Yeah, bao zhi. It means dumpling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so bao is dumplings. And if you're just joining now, Jessica is here designing packaging and logos and identities for bao, which is a fictitious company that is going to make us all very hungry, for one, and make us all want to hope that this is not a fictitious company <laughs> so that we can then all go get packages of bao later. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Tim has a great idea for Adobe Live Trace, be able to set the cleanliness of the graphic simplicity. I think you can do that in there. I believe it's a setting that you can toggle and uh, kind of alter up and down. So check that out. Oh no, my mouse. Oh no, yeah. did your mouse disconnect? Yeah. Oh no. Mouse failure. Yeah, mouse connected. Oh, it's for Should be fine. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I think everyone knows what they're getting for lunch. <laughs> William is chiming in on that. <clears throat> so we have about 15 mm. more minutes for submissions for today's challenge. Uh, don't forget to celebrate International Earth Day by making a mock-up with a logo on a water bottle in Dimension.
And if your renderings are taking too long, don't worry. There's hope. <laughs> there is always uh, the ability to submit your entry for the next round. Uh, Charles says he feels like watching Kung Fu Panda now. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> he likes something. I think Bao is also a pork bun. Is that true? Like, because Bao comes in many different styles. Uh, and I think for, for pork, they call it chashu. Chashu. Chashu Pao. Chashu Pao. <laughs> okay. Yeah. De <clears throat> to define which type of Bao. Mm hmm. Welcome back, Nasra. <laughs> oh, yeah, Simon had mentioned um, the previous illustration that you did with the five petals could be like an asterisk next to the bow. Mm -hmm. And uh, like this one, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But maybe to the right of it. To the right. Yeah. Oh, to the right. Because mm -hmm. okay. then it would be, he was saying, um, then it would be something that you could then define as this oh, is what bow is mm. <laughs> down at the so bottom. Just like a meaning. Behind. Yeah, that That's could be cool. kind of cool to play oh, around nice. with. Nice. Now it looks more like bow. I like that. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yes, seven minutes to render. Oh my gosh, Paul said that Pixar's making a short film called Bao. It's about a dumpling. Oh. That sounds really cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's cute. Oh, and he also said that Bao means precious treasure. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Whoever said that. <laughs> yeah, that's Paul Tranny. He's an Adobe ambassador. <laughs> yeah, it's just treasure food. Yeah, it's a treasure food. It's a gift. Oh yes, delicious dumplings. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Great. Looks like we have farm design in the house. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> Ooh, those look really cute. I love it. <laughs> they make me want to, like, have one as a pillow. Wouldn't that be an amazing plush pillow, a little bow? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Racim is right. Seven minutes to render sounds like an action movie. In a world. <laughs> in a world made of dimension. <laughs> They're just laughing at me back there. <laughs> like, don't worry, Jessica, you keep working and making amazing bow logos. <laughs> yes, you guys have about 11 more minutes until we announce the challenge and take a peek through all of the great work. So please start saving out your renders and uploading now if you can. Oh yeah, yummy chasu bao. That's your favorite, right? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I like oh, no. shalong bao. Shalong bao, yeah. <laughs> chasu bao is the pork bao, then, right? Pork yeah, bao, chasu bao, yeah. yeah. Delicious. Yes, hello, Mike from New York. Hello, Yog. Hello, Tima. From render to surrender. I like that. <laughs> That's a great tagline for dimension. <laughs> we'll keep that one in mind. <laughs> I'm going to make a shirt that says that. <laughs> oh, I love the... Uh, the like uneven. Yeah, the uneven. Yeah. It makes it feel yeah. very natural, but mm -hmm. also... Simple. Feels a little bit like the third board, but with a little bit of playfulness because mm -hmm. it has that natural, like brush stroke mm -hmm. feel. It's really nice. Yeah, it is cute. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a lot of puns on this show for the next three <laughs> days. I can just feel it. <laughs> Hi, Brazil. <laughs> Aloha from Maui. Wow, first time watching. Welcome, Jennifer. That's awesome. Amazing. Well, you're going to be hooked because it's awesome and we're designing bow. 
the audience is very engaging. Yes, nice. yes, very. Yeah, it's awesome. Hello, Ashraf. Yeah, it's pretty great. I think that there's such an awesome uh, community of designers mm -hmm. out there that have a lot to share yeah. and give while we design, and it's just um, it's just another mm -hmm. area where you can find a new community to kind of test out your <laughs> stuff and get good feedback. And uh, yeah, just cool. I want to have that button still in Illustrator where I can turn it on and be like live feedback, please, <laughs> and then turn it off so I can get back to work. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> yes, we'll all get dumplings at the end. We just all have to pay for them ourselves and order them. <laughs> uh, ooh, greetings from the Turks. Nice. That sounds like vacation. I would like that. There are a lot of puns in here, this is great. <laughs> yes, bow movement, it's <clears> awesome. <laughs> Lucas says it's very cool to see this live instead of working. Instead of working? Yeah. <laughs> Good, I'm excited you guys. You've got eight more minutes to start in submissions. It will be your chance to win a Creative Cloud subscription and get your work featured on Adobe Live. Those are cute. I like the one on the left. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Start from here and then. Yeah. Then it's great to see the before and after. Mm -hmm. Well, even the more before, which is your illustration <laughs> in, the, in the sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Super. It's so cute. So I think after this, I'm just going to move to the next one. So we nice. Have, like, it's great to see all the iterations, though, just to see your process, to yeah. show what you've worked <clears throat> through in order to get to the mm -hmm. spot that you're at now. I mean, it, it's really quick working. So, mm -hmm. you know, for those of you who are following along, it's really only been an hour of work. Mm -hmm. And Jessica's already put together quite a few different options that the, she can then refine from. So uh, I think quick iterative process is a really great way to go because you don't get too stuck in one yeah. area. Mm -hmm, and true. then you can continue to, you know, ebb and flow and see what works and what doesn't and what you're excited about and what you maybe thought was a good idea and isn't anymore or the happy accidents that you create and are <laughs> amazing. Um, pretty cool. Uh, welcome back on Anaga. I hope I said that right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <clears throat> oh, yes, Fernanda's asking the question of, what tool do you use the smooth lines? We use the smooth tool. We use so the smooth tool. Yeah, yeah. the smooth so tool. it's under the... <laughs> Everyone wants to know yeah. your smooth tool. <laughs> under the pencil, usually there's like a pencil over here, and uh -huh. then you uh, right smooth click, tool. and then there's like a smooth tool. I Amazing. put a shortcut one, so this is not on the original Illustrator. They don't oh, nice. Have this you made shortcut. your own shortcut? Yeah, I just made my own shortcut, so you just click one. That's pretty if you smooth, want, so yeah. Jessica. <laughs> smooth move. Yeah. Totally. Oh, Jason says, well done by being so cool under pressure of all these designers' eyes. <laughs> I agree, Jason. This is a lot of pressure. She's doing this like very smoothly, almost like, you know, a pro, if you will. <laughs> That's why she's on the show today. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. It's so cute. I want to eat bow there. I, <laughs> I mean, to be real, I, I just want to eat bow. <laughs> I want to eat bow anyway. <laughs> yes. Hi, Mariano. We are, for those of you who are just joining, like Mariano, we are here with Jessica, and she is designing uh, logos for bow. The idea behind her three-day session is that she's going to design three different uh, logos based on some mood boards that she's already put together. 
And what she thought would be cool is that the idea of going in to get pizza at a really nice pizza restaurant and take it away in a box is easy and everyone does it, but you can't do that for Bao. So what we wanna do is create a packaging and a design that you'd be able to go into a nice Bao restaurant and leave with the most delicious Bao mm -hmm. ever. So that's what we're going to be yeah. doing for the next three days. Pretty Did delicious. <laughs> Yes, and we have five more minutes for submissions, so it looks like they're coming in now. This is pretty exciting. Um, can't wait to see even more come in. Uh, if you haven't already, I would start to submit, and you can find that on the challenge, which is on the tab next to your live stream. Today's challenge is to design a logo for Earth Day and then place it on a water bottle in Dimension and upload Oops. it. The internet. Oh no, no internet connection. Mm. We'll fix that afterwards. Okay. Tomorrow we'll have internet. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we'll have bow. <laughs> I can get another one for some. Uh, Jimmy's asking hmm? if he's a picky eater, uh, would he okay. like bow? Thank you. Yes, you would love bow, Jimmy. In fact, bow might be your most favorite food going forward in life. This is true. <laughs> I think Andrea's right. He said, I think people have made their logos in five minutes and spent 30 minutes rendering. <laughs> because rendering is hard if you're just getting into it. It is hard. <laughs> but Dimension makes it pretty easy, so it's more about figuring out the lighting and the placement and, yeah. Oh, Lim Yvonne is from Jakarta, too. He says hi. Hi. I think that's my dad. <laughs> really? Is that your dad? I don't know. Hi, dad. How are you? Is this, yes, is this family. A... <laughs> yeah, he has the same last name as you. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my dad. awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Family's in the house. Everyone say hi to Jessica's dad. <laughs> hi, Lim. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love this. Oh. I love when family joins in. I know. I think they're pretty excited with me. Yeah, are you kidding me? I'm excited, and I'm not even related to you. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Hi, Dad. Mitch says hi. Everyone's saying hi to Jessica's dad. I love it. <laughs> While you guys are supporting Jessica's dad, make sure that you're also entering in the competition. <laughs> hi, Liam. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so fun. Yay. <laughs> You'll have to rewatch this because everyone's saying hello to your dad. <laughs> Hi, Kathy, Sonia, Sisse, Hector, Frederick, Melanie, P.F. Paul, Mitch, Simon. <laughs> this is so Anaga, funny. Andrea, Yog. <laughs> They're all like, yay. <laughs> so good. Yes, make sure and get your entries in so that you can be featured uh, today on Adobe Live. And also so that you have a chance to win a Creative Cloud subscription for the year. And for free, you can say hi to Jessica's dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's just winning in life, everybody. <laughs> oh my God, that is so nice. <laughs> I love it. Uh, thanks for joining us, Shelby. We'll see you next time. Ooh, I really like the way that this one's coming together. Mm -hmm. I think just need to smooth in the, yeah. the typeface so it match together. Although I like the, the bit of the tension with it being so clean, but mm -hmm. I see what you're gonna do. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. Oh, bye Siobhan. We'll see you soon. Oh, that's my friend. <laughs> oh, but you'll be back on later. Perfect. <laughs> that's good. Siobhan's like, yep. Uh, I think also Fadlan. Oh, he's speaking Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I think that's Indonesian, so... Uh, Mimiel, it's his first time. So lost. Okay, so, for the people that are just joining now, in 30 seconds, we're gonna look at a challenge submission deadline, uh, which is the challenge of the day to create an Earth Day logo and then put it on a bottle in Dimension. And we're also joined by Jessica, who is designing live stream right now. 
doing some very smooth work mm -hmm. uh, designing Bao logos, and she'll be joining Bao Packaging. Uh, Patricia said in Portuguese, Bao means good. Oh. I like that, it's, it is good. Yeah. Bao's delicious. Luckily it's not like a bad word in another language. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, now it's time for the challenge. Okay. Chris, are we ready? Uh, let's give it a couple minutes. All right. Let's give it a couple minutes and then we'll um, let the review, we'll let everything kind of come in and sync up, but we'll be reviewing shortly. Yay! That's very nice, Enrique. He's like, good luck to everyone. I like all the puns that people are <laughs> saying about Bao. <laughs> So are you excited to look at some of these in a bit? Mm -hmm. I know you'll be choosing the winner. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's looking over now, she's like, oh wait, huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Joan says, go Jess. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Tim just said, if puns about bow were money, we'd be rolling in dough. <laughs> Boom, boom. That's pretty deep, Tim. <laughs> I love that, in fact. <laughs> it's my kind of pun. <laughs> Just gonna leave it here. <clears throat> cool. And now, so one. much. Come on. Oh, those little bows, they're so cute. I really like that bottom one. This one? <laughs> yeah, yeah me this. too, that's what I yeah. wanna do. <laughs> Probably with this one, I'm gonna try to trace it. Yeah, Since um... super pundemonium, yes. Hmm. My internet's being a little slow. Uh, it's a good time to save, right? Hmm? Saving? Oh, yes, save. Yeah, I was like, it's a good time to save, huh? <laughs> I haven't even saved it. <laughs> You're like, I need to save, yeah. Always saving. Thank you for reminding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just oh processing. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Yes. Pucko. Issues loading. Is there a on us? Uh, it's. Oops. They're not quite loading. So we'll be looking at submissions shortly. Everyone be prepared. So cute. Oh, cool. So you tried Live Trace. Nice. Yeah, I traced it. Yeah, well, that one's illustrated so well that it's like you kind of want to. And it might have that really nice natural feel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you can smooth it out again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we are ready to take a look at submissions. All right. So, let's see. All right, cool. So this is the first one by Michael Iverson. Global goodness, Earth Day made. Get over all. Cool. I also like the setting. I think yeah. it's nice to see. I like this. he put a hashtag on it since like yeah, it's together very for all. in. Yeah, yeah now, so totally. It's just nice. <laughs> I think it's great. Uh -huh. Let's see. 
Haley Vasas. Oh, cool. Roots mango smoothie. It's not really Earth Day, mm. but uh, it is Let's Be Kind to the Earth, so that's nice. Let's be kind to the yeah. Earth. Yeah. Oh, I have, they have a different tech line on every. Yeah. Let's be trailblazers. Flavor. Let's root for nature. Cool. And it's just like very natural. Like the yeah. Color. I like Everything. the idea of it. I also like that it's a nature paper. Mm -hmm. uh, Givorg Ooh, Gregorian. He tried to use the... Oh, yeah, the, there's a splash going a splash on there. splash going on, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. <coughs> and then Devin Ward. So this one, oh, and if it's easier for you to look here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what about this? Um, cool. So Earth is simple. Oh, this is very We simple. create these bottles at mm -hmm. low cost with minimal packaging. It's I like, like a, the idea uh -huh. and the intent. That's nice, like yeah. The purpose behind. Yeah, the purpose behind is good. Uh -huh. And look at the rendering. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, it probably didn't go all the way through, but I get the idea of it. Patrick Diaz. Damn. Damn clean. <laughs> Yo, Earth, damn you looking clean. <laughs> nice. Nice. <clears throat> this is pretty I like, good. Yeah. I like, this one. I like this one too. I like the copy there. Yeah. I think, I think it's fun. It's like kind of like design. a call to action. Uh -huh. It's like, yeah, man, keep me clean. Midgard Tears. Nathan, I don't know what that means. Do you? Mm, not really. <laughs> Midgard. I think he just like tried Earth to use the color, probably. Yeah, probably. Color, Earth then, Tears. Mm -hmm. The rendering is interesting though because of the mm -hmm, perspective. Mm -hmm. It makes it look heroic. But that's nice about Adobe Dimension. It's just like you can take shoot. Yeah, like totally. Angle. Oh, Midgard means Earth. Earth okay. tears. Oh, oh so glad we asked. <laughs> oh, we're both like, oh, Midgard. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> From Thor. Okay. From yes. Thor. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm not up to date on my Thor, Thorisms, but I'll get there. Okay. Alexandra Viquette. Earth, Earth Day. Day. It's, a, it's a little scary. It <laughs> looks kind of bloody. You know, but like, it's just nice trying. save Earth. Yeah, did they there's try, a lot going on. Yeah, did yeah. you try the Earth, like having the 3D Earth Day type? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, for Dimension, oh, cool. definitely. Cool. Yeah, totally. Mm. Kathy oh. Lamborell. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. A illustration, yeah. This one. And then yeah. It's nice to see it in context mm -hmm. with the flowers. It's mm -hmm. pretty. It's very natural. Yeah. Eric Ruiz Svensson. Always 100% sustainable. sustainable. Earth water. Earth day. <laughs> Walter Fria Filo. That's a very clear bottle mm -hmm. and a splash. Fresh. Fresh earth water. Fresh. Cool. Cool. I like the color, the gradient. Yeah, the mm -hmm. color is nice on the logo. Mm -hmm. It's very aqua. Aqua. Yeah. Fred Ooh, Twombly. Oh, that's alive. cool. We will, what is it? We will. We will. Something earth our environment. I like how we're both like. We will Rrr. save. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah, that's nice. Fresh south water. <laughs> I like the use of abstract. Like yeah, abstract shape I do too. Right it's here. very much like Dolly mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. because it's in a giant mm -hmm. pile of water pile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it's called now. It's a pile of water. Um, but yeah, I like how we put it in a different yeah. atmosphere. It's mm -hmm. it's interesting. Michelle McBain. Mm. Oh, nice. We've got some uh, really cool uh, reflections oh, going wow. on in the bottle. I think it's um, because of the material. Yeah, really totally. Nice. It's interesting to see cool. some different materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. Oh, I Ooh, think that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Let's see, let's go back. So, if we mm. look at all of these, Jessica, you get to pick a winner. Oh, I think they're all good for like with the few minutes that they have. Yeah, I know. You guys did an incredible uh -huh. job like knowing having... that rendering takes time mm -hmm. and you also had to create a logo. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a lot of work in a very short amount of time. And probably some of them just trying the Adobe Dimension. So yeah, first time fun. Adobe Dimension <laughs> users. This is awesome. Cool. So hmm. what do you think? It's a tough call. 
What do you think? <laughs> I'm leaving this up to you. This is solely in your hands. All of the challenges are you today. Okay. I'm just here to be nice next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, this is one stood out for me. This one? This one stood out for me. Yeah, I think it I was really like, yeah. interesting. It doesn't, because people usually uh, see our day as something very clean and very um, not active. Mm -hmm. Where here it's more active, it's like something they want to create a movement for the Earth Day. So I think, uh, and with the abstract shape and then just yeah. the color, the vibrant color and the typeface, I think it's just nice to. Totally. And it's in water. Yeah. It's got a really beautiful mm -hmm. color palette. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It'd be fun to carry around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Fred said not to mention the photo is mine. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> awesome. So, okay, just got a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Even more creative. Mm, good Very job. cool. Well, I think then Fred is our, our winner. Yep. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Congrats, Fred. Fred. Yay. We will high 10. High 10. <laughs> cool. For Fred. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, well, that's pretty amazing, guys. So if you didn't get to submit this time, make sure that you know you can keep working and rendering and submit a new design uh, in any of the next sessions today. So be sure to try again if you didn't win like Fred. <laughs> Congrats, Fred. Yay. Super cool. It's a lot of work that they did in such a short yeah. amount of time because rendering is not easy. And then just trying to learn new software, it's also hard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, good I, job, everyone. Yeah, good job. I feel like most people uh, that had worked on it today haven't used Dimension before. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, awesome work. Go back to the Oh, games. I found <laughs> there's the neatest tool or trick that I learned for this the other day to oh, just like, select the black uh -huh. if you want. Oh, the select. And yeah. The but it, I think it has to be in a separate file. Or Otherwise, can, it would select all the black. I can lock this one. Oh, so. nice. Yeah. Okay, so then same fill, same color. fill color. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, but there's some like. Oh, there's some other fill mm -hmm, color. Yeah, way. bummer. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, yeah, bummer. <laughs> Oh, there's also, Michael Taylor said you could use select similar to select those sections. Oh. Interesting. Selection. See, this is why, like, this whole live stream design <laughs> thing is so cool, because you get tips from each other. Fill color and then yeah. similar. How do you do that? Fred's chiming in and he's like, <laughs> I really love the PS plush. I'm like, yeah, Fred, you already won Creative Cloud subscription for you. You can't have a plush pillow, <laughs> too. That's just excessive. <laughs> Um, so I think if you select similar, mm -hmm. how do you select similar? Like under select, select and then same. Mm, oh, that's a good one. Or I can put similar. Hmm, Michael hmm. Taylor, <laughs> you sneaky man. <laughs> <laughs> he said select one color, then choose similar. <laughs> okay. Select one color. <laughs> Gus is like, look, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, yeah. hmm. well, I would say select the one color, group them, and then find the similar color and then do the same thing. Oh, so try to yeah, different so then color? You, yeah, so I would like group same. those. Okay. And then maybe... Yeah, so once those are grouped, and then find the color that's near it mm -hmm. and do the same thing. Hmm. It, it would be nice to have it though, but it's I the rightmost icon in the menu, I think. Interesting. Well, this just definitely is becoming designed by <laughs> committee now, isn't it? <laughs> you do I will, you. I will figure it out <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. We, and we've we'll got come this. Back. <laughs> we'll come back to you. I'm gonna uh, do some good Nagar Google says search. that he likes your artwork. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Everybody's just so nice. I know, right? <laughs> Adobe so Livestream is the nicest. <laughs> oh, Tim actually has a good idea too. 
take it into Photoshop, auto trace, and then bring it back into Illustrator. Oh, oh but you got it. <laughs> but that's another way to do it too. There's yeah. so many interesting ways that everybody uses the same program. And I think that's what's so cool about mm -hmm. Adobe programs is that they're so complex. Yeah, <laughs> and then people just do yeah. it in a different way. Yeah. Oh, Alexander said his connection was down and he's back. Welcome back, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have 15 minutes more, right? Yes, so I'm probably we do. Gonna wrap up. We have about 15 more minutes. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty fast. <laughs> it is really fast. <laughs> Shelly says, You can do it, Jess. <laughs> thank you, Shelly. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Shelly. This is great. I love this. <laughs> I'm here for moral support. <laughs> uh, so great. <clears throat> Yeah, who else is really hungry for bao? Because Jessica made us hungry for bao. <laughs> Me? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Glenna says that your drawings are so cute. Oh, and I you. totally agree. <laughs> like, usually cute isn't, like, a descriptor that you want to use as a designer. But uh -huh. there's sometimes when you just want to say cute because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And I feel the same way. I mean, these are so cute. And I want to go, like, take these little bows <laughs> in a little package away with me. And it's wonderful. Oh, he was saying, uh, Tim says that maybe the O on the bow looks like a D. On the bow, which one? On this one. It might look too much like a D. Uh, I think that one. Oh, this yeah, one. Yeah, it, oh. it kind of reads bad. Yeah, oh, that's true. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm we're probably okay. Let me see. What we can do later. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that another time. But it's really great because sometimes there's things that we don't see until we take mm -hmm. a step back and then look at it later and then come back to it. Oh yeah. Nice. Jim says he's. He loves having a second set of eyes. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's sometimes why I wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun for you. <laughs> Man, my jokes are bad. <laughs> you guys have inspired oh, me to make really yeah. bad jokes today. <laughs> Pun master. Oh, that bow is so cute. I think this is great. It kind of reminds me of um, more of the uh, natural ink illustration that you were talking mm -hmm. about. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining. For those of you who are just chiming in now, we're nearly to the end of Jessica's show today, but we will be back tomorrow and the following day to continue on designs for Bao, both logo work and packaging, where we'll be using Dimension, uh, which is one of Adobe's newer applications. So if you haven't tried out Dimension, I would definitely download it and play around. It's pretty great. We'll also be doing some daily challenges using Dimension. So I would try and get used to it so that you can submit for your mm -hmm. chance to win all the good things that we're giving away. <laughs> Do -do -do. I think uh, I'm just going to yes. roughly finish this one and then Nice. I like it. Yeah, so I think tomorrow we're going to be looking at uh, some of these design yeah. elements and packaging. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, um, oh yes, Benny says, hi Jessica, very subtle work, I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I'm a big fan too. <laughs> Thank you guys. <clears throat> so great. Yeah, we have about seven more minutes. Okay. Um, just. Oh, I love the way that illustration looks. Just it's gonna, so cute. Just gonna change this one just so we can get the idea first mm -hmm. because of the time. Huh. Two hours is Woo. too fast for design work. Selena O oh is here. She's like, hey, Jessica. Representing. Representing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Hi. And other Jessica loves the texture. 
Oh, thank you. Nice, Jessica and Jessica. Yeah, I like to use the Illustrator texture. It's just mm -hmm. like easy to use, mm -hmm. and then it just shows the nature way directly, and then we don't have to create yeah, it. Yeah, it emphasizes a little bit more of the illustration you did, mm -hmm. which is cool. A lot of people are saying that that dumpling's their favorite dumpling. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Gonna I'm gonna agree, but a real dumpling would be <laughs> so good right now. <laughs> You can go to dumpling time after this. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just grab your lunch there. Yeah, totally. Okay, let's see what we have here. Just gonna grab all of them. Yeah, Jonathan says it feels personal and handmade. Hmm. Yeah, and Abisoy agrees. For the first one. This one. Oh, this is pretty good puns going on. It said Jessica to take a bow at the end. <laughs> like a take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> this is probably the best set of puns I've heard in a long time. This is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I bow down to you guys. <laughs> Ah, that's great. Oh, cool. This is fun to see all of them together. <clears throat> Amazing. Um, yeah, so we've then, got about five more minutes. Oh, no. No, that's good. I know, I know. <laughs> it's good. You can do it. Look how much you've done already in, like, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> okay, so this is all part of the process. Yes. So I think if you, in design world, usually you will take like more than... Totally, you'll probably yeah. take more than an hour and a half uh -huh. to do work, but you know, this is the hurried process. Yeah, oh, I love that bow. Yeah, I That's like That's probably my favorite yeah. one. Yeah. It's so cute and delicious. Yeah. Did you hear my stomach growl? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw that bow and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for those of you who are joining us, we are wrapping up here with Jessica, but stay with us because we have Kathleen and Farm yeah. Design Ooh. on next, and they'll be doing uh, branding for a restaurant. Uh, so pretty exciting. You'll stay hungry, <laughs> both thinking about Bao and then thinking about whatever restaurant it is that they design for. I know I'm starving. Oh my god, they're also going to design the restaurant? I know, right? Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be the hungriest show ever. <laughs> totally. Bow wow. Yeah, Robert got it. Nice, Robert. <laughs> I think tomorrow we'll have to like do some hip hop and some bow <laughs> puns and bow songs. You know, as you do. Okay, so I think I'm just going to wrap up here. So, uh, just to recap to everyone, do I need to recap? Yeah, let's recap. <laughs> I'm totally down with that. This is great. So, uh, I have, previously I have this three mood board. The first one is saying about the honest ingredients and just uh, having it very delicate where your chef uh, made it for you personally. Mm -hmm. And the second one is just celebrating the, the flavorful and the juicy um, taste of dim sum. And then the last one is going back to the roots where you go back to Chinese um, tradition and then culture on how they uh, create this um, culture of food, dim sum itself. So the first one is more, the approach is just more simplistic and then more straightforward. <clears throat> so I'm having different uh, kind of how you can have the logo. So just very straightforward typeface with the accent mark on the top. Mm -hmm. And then probably trying something uh, more hand-drawn here and just having some roof on top saying like it's a house of dumpling where the chef served it, served it for you. And then this is just the um, exploration of the dumpling itself where you put the bow inside of the dumpling. <laughs> and then the second one, it's more uh, playful and it's more uh, flavorful. So I'm uh, playing around the the idea of the dumpling itself, so mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> having so it more more curvy and having it more rounded just to uh, show like a approachable feeling and a an, uh, friendly feeling. Mm -hmm. Still have to, I think I still have to uh, play around with the type over here. How should I put it? Is it on the bottom or is it on the top or is it on the bottom of the dim sum? Mm -hmm. So that's something we can 
uh, figure it out uh, later. And then the last one is just a quick uh, quick exploration on how, like previously, I show you a lot of uh, different kind of illustration that I drawn using a brush. And then here it's just more uh, how you can create it as an outline, as a factor, mm -hmm. so it can be served as a logo. And then, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> a lot of people are really liking that third concept already, so it's pretty awesome. Yay. Well, I want to thank Jessica for joining us thank on her first soon. day. Two more days to go, so stay tuned and come back and watch us more as Jessica creates Bao and makes us all hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to go to <laughs> dim sum right now. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so and, much, uh, you guys, for being stick with supportive. Us. We have farm design next.